YouTube, I brought back the best segment ever on my channel that everybody loves. Everybody knows that you didn't know that. Oh, yeah, and also, everybody knows I'm a professional wrestler. I, if you don't know that, I am. And if you want to see me go Gangnam Style, you got to check out this. It's really cool. It's me doing Gangnam Style in wrestling. It's awesome. Check it out. And enjoy this. All right, situation A. We've got three Elemental Hero ne Neos alias on the field and a back row. And my opponent has four deadly back rows. Now, I will summon my Elemental Hero Stratos in order to activate his effect to destroy Spell of Trap cards. Uh, a couple things to note here. Uh, one, this effect does not target. Okay? So you don't pick what cards you destroy when you activate Stratos' effect. So don't target. Because at resolution, it checks how many heroes are on the field. And then it destroys that many Spell Trap cards equal to the number of the ones you control aside from Stratos. So also, this is also the time where your opponent's supposed to chain to the effect. So if my opponent doesn't chain, and then Stratos destroys three cards... If one of those cards is like you know, a Typhoon, they can't chain this Typhoon because they're already resolving the effect of Stratos. They have to chain immediately to Stratos' effect. When they say, activate the effect, then he has to chain Typhoon. Let's say it destroys this compulsory evacuation device. And then we resolve the effect. These three cards will be destroyed. Also, you can't activate Starlight Road in this case because you don't know how many cards that Stratos will destroy at activation. You don't know. What if you played a Torrential Tribute and you could wipe the field off and thus there'd be no spell trap cards to be destroyed. So, Starlight Road cannot be activated against Stratos. Stratos effect does not target spell trap cards and you have the chain to the effect of Stratos, not while Stratos is trying to destroy the cards. You can't chain after that. Alright? Good. All right, we've got a skill drain on the field, and I just saw my Gear Gear Arsenal. Now, we already know that we can activate Gear Gear Arsenal's effect, and it will resolve with effect, because skill drain only negates the effects that are monsters that are face-up on the field. And in this case, he's not face-up on the field, he's in the graveyard. So, and that would bring our Gear Gear up. Now, what if my opponent had an effect veiler instead, and tried to negate it with Gear Gear Arsenal? Actually, the ruling is you are not allowed to activate Effect Veiler to try to negate the monster's effect while Skrill Drain is already face up on the field. Remember that, already face up on the field. Because you can't try to negate an effect that's already being negated. That's the ruling. So, if this is up, you are free from Veiler. You can activate this effect and bring out a Gear Gear Armor to Defense Mode, and just in case that pesky Thunder King is in your way. All right, we've got an Acid Golem on the field. That's our standby phase. So we're going to activate the effect, of course, because that's when it activates. Now, I want to try to detach this. You don't choose what effect you use until resolution. So, I activate Acid Golem. My opponent chains Compulsory Evacuation Device back on my Acid Golem. So that goes, well, you have to do one or the other, and obviously you can't detach an XY material at this point in time, so you'll actually take 2,000 points of damage in this situation. Yeah, seriously. One or the other. If you can't detach, you have to take the 2,000, and obviously you can't detach it. So, that's a dirty trick if you want to get a free 2,000 life points out of your opponent right there. Cool, eh? 